the apron. You picked up a lot of you got hot tires, pick up a lot of debris on the tires. Plus, if one of these guys up front here runs out of fuel, look out field. Here we go. Casey Kane, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Denny Hamlin, Brad Keslowski, Harvick, Burton, Bush, Edwards, Stewart, Reagan, green flag. Two to go. Boy, Dale Earnhardt Four Jr. Cars. got a great race Four start. Cars. He's out of gas, and there they go. And Burton goes around. A lot Talking of smoke. They had a little bit of a rag back here. No caution. Keselowski got bounced around, but we are still green. Let's cars, see. Cars all over the place down here in turns one and two. Not real sure how this is going to work out. Still no caution, though. We'll be coming to the white flag, Mike. Dale Earnhardt Jr. out front. Can he make it? White flag. Next flag ends the race. Hamlin trying to close. Track's clear. We're good to go. Seven back. Seven back. Harvick third, Reagan fourth, Logano fifth. What a topsy-turvy finish to the Coca-Cola 600. And Dale Jr. is scooting away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's slowing, isn't he? 150,000 people on their feet. Jr. Earnhardt. is slowing. He's out of fuel. He's out, he's of, out of gas. And as at Indy, the leader at turn four does not get to the flag. Harvick, Harvick the closer, wins it. Once again, where did he come from? <laughs> Once again, never. Are you kidding me? That just beats all. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, man. How about old Harv? <laughs> Brad Keselowski had a lot of damage down at turns one and two. He comes down the pit road and finally takes the chopper. Feet. We needed 500 more feet. Everybody did a great job. That's Steve Latart, Dale Jr.'s crew chief. And yes, they did. 19 cars finish on the lead lap. Harvick the winner. David Reagan is the runner-up, and Joey Logano came from two free passes to finish third. Last year's winner, Kurt Busch, is fourth, and A.J. Allmendinger is fifth. Today, Hildebrand. Hildebrand is going to win the race, a rookie at Indy. He crashes in turn four. Tonight, Dale Jr. is going to win the race at Charlotte. Runs out of gas coming out of turn four. Gonna take some head scratching to sort this out. Why don't we start with a replay <laughs> of the restart and oh, the yeah. final two laps? We can do that, can't we? From the Goodyear blimp. Kane and Earnhardt. You both you saw Casey, he spun the tires a little bit, and that gave Dale Jr. a great opportunity. And here comes Keselowski. He rams in the back of Kane because he's out of fuel. Car Around goes it. Burton. Two guys who made the best moves there were Reagan and Logano. They shot through it all. Now, you know what I really like is NASCAR didn't, I mean, they could have thrown a caution right there. Right. But the track was clear when the leaders get back. Watch how the 6 and the 20 get through this. Reagan way up to the outside. Logano wow. up to the outside, down to the inside. Here we go, boys. David Reagan just threaded the needle with that 6, stood in the throttle. And Joey Logano followed him all the way through to 2nd and 3rd. And by at this point, Dale Jr. has got a huge lead. And when I looked over, I thought, oh, I, he can't be. He's slowing down. No, he can't be. But he was. And Harvick sweeps around the outside. Harvick, Reagan, Logano. Beat up to the strike. Because Denny Hammond in the 11 was running second. He was running out of fuel. Oh, man. Stevie Latart. Damn. Um, he's you know, they did everything they could, and Junior drove his best race of the year. Came up a quarter of a gallon short, pint of gas short. Delana Harvick, tears of joy. Agony and defeat. And Dale Junior pushes his car to the garage. We'll be back with lots more from a wild night at Charlotte Motor Speedway. What I had him describe your night. I think we need more than 500 more feet, but I gotta say we weren't supposed to make it. We were gonna run out of gas, and we kind of knew it, but we we were you know we played our hand, and that was what we was gonna do. My other guys came in, and I tried to save a ton of gas. I knew I didn't save enough, but I tried to save enough, you know as much as I could. And um, you know it's I'm disappointed we didn't win. I know all our fans are disappointed it comes to come so close, but. If we had won that race, it'd have been a gift. We were a top five car, but but uh, never had really put ourselves in the lead. 
And uh, this is our all, this is our Vegas car. It's really, really good. So we'll keep taking it to the racetracks and running good. We were so fast at the start of the race. And once the sun went down, our, you know, kind of leveled out and picked everybody up a little bit. We ran good tonight, man. Proud. I'm proud of my guys. I'm proud of the car we unloaded. I'm proud of how we worked all night long. And uh, we'll be around for a long time. We'll get plenty. Don't worry about that. Dale, you said you've been cautiously optimistic. What does this What does this effort mean tonight? Well, it takes a long streak of runs, really, to get to where you want to go mentally and get your confidence where you want it. But I'm just we're really fortunate to take home seventh place points tonight. I would have loved to have won this race, but on the other hand, I thought it was a coin with a win and a and a 20th, you know. And I'm like, you know, the risk is just so high there, and this point system is different. You know, and you can't give away points. So we're lucky to get out of here with anything. Have to run out of gas on the back straightaway of this race. Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Hey, Dale. We're live to the screen here. Denny Hamlin thanking his crew members. I know when you start fourth, you don't want to finish tenth. But when you were sitting there on pit road, your crew changing out your carburetor. At that moment, would you have ever dreamed you would have finished top ten? Well, it was a. I, I turned thought that a, you know I'd be happy with a top eight, but uh, you can't run. Uh, second on the back straightaway and, and be uh, happy with 10th. But great day by our FedEx uh, car. We had a race winning car today. We battled our ways back to the front of the pack. Uh, can't say enough for all everyone at FedEx, all the employees. Uh, we almost got a win for them, but uh, you know, it's just a bunch of us right there on that same fuel strategy. My eyes got huge when I saw everyone running out in front of us. And uh, so they got big, they got small because we ran out of fuel. So. Uh, can't say enough for um, this whole team for changing that car rotor, not going a lap down, um, and and keep fighting. So, we'll uh, we'll keep fighting. This is a step in the right direction. We're we're back being competitive like we should be, and we're going to win some races here soon. So close to the win, but they'll take it. Chris. Thanks, Krista. Burning fuel all day, all night, racing to the front, and then at the end you have to conserve it to win. And we check the unofficial results. It's uh, Kevin Harvick. Four of his last seven wins have been last lap passes. His last four wins have come on tracks that he had not previously won on. And uh, Jeff Hammond, some of the other guys, Greg Biffle, who looked like for a moment there it might be his night. Yeah, I thought it was going to be his night. You see right there on 11th, uh, 21st right there. Ricky, uh, 21 car, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. But how about Carl Evers, a point leader? He winds up way back there in 16th. But, you know, it was a tough night for a lot of guys. Casey Kane, Jeff, Jeff Burton, he had a shot right there. Then he got caught up in that melee. Uh, it was just a crazy finish for